What's going on, everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So in the wake of this news, uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people who couldn't wait to, you know, to hear what I have to say. Couldn't wait for me to make a video on it. I'm not sure if you're going to get what you want from me um, in reaction to this. But uh, all I have to really say up front is fuck them. Right? Fuck them. Just fuck them. That's 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 my raw, just unfiltered reaction. Fuck them. So Naughty Dog put out a statement. And by the way, all you game developers have to come up with a better way of releasing bad news. You got to come up with a better bad news template than putting out three paragraphs or, you know, three run on sentences, you know, on Twitter and, and put a goddamn colored border around it. Can y'all at least be creative with how you deliver bad news? Because all y'all are just doing the same shit, following the same format. Fuck them. So it says, Naughty Dog official Twitter account. It's, it's insane how, like, it, it, it's, it's literally deja vu all over again. It's like we time traveled back four years ago, and we are rereading the same statement that they put out four years ago when they told us that Factions 2 uh, would not be launching with The Last of Us Part 2. It's just same shit. It says, Last of Us fans, we know many of you have been looking forward to hearing more about our, uh, about our The Last of Us uh, multiplayer game. We're incredibly proud of the job our studio has done thus far, but as development has continued, we realize what is best for the game is to give it more time. Our team will continue to work on the project as well as other games in development, including our brand new single player experience. Uh, we look forward to sharing more soon. We're grateful to our fantastic community for your support. Thank you for your passion for our games. It continues to drive us. So first, just to throw it out there, it, it seems a lot of people speculated what's the next thing they're, they're working on. Them saying a brand new single player experience sounds like it's not The Last of Us Part 3. But I don't know. It doesn't. Brand new. Technically, if you make The Last of Us Part 3, technically that is a new game. But brand, when you say brand new single player experience, that makes it sound like it's a whole nother IP. They didn't say a brand new IP. So, you know, it, it could be semantics. They could be mincing words. They don't want to give too much away. That could mean anything. It could mean, I mean, it technically could mean Last of Us Part 3. Could mean a, a new IP, but I feel like if it was, it was a new IP, they should specifically say that, but then they probably want to stay nebulous and, and a little bit um, confusing. But that's not what the fuck this is about. Who fuck cares? That shit ain't coming out till like four years from now. And then Jason Schreier um, with Bloomberg, of course. Bloomberg is damn near always accurate. So it says Naughty Dog has significantly scaled down the team on its Last of Us multiplayer project, sources say, as it reassesses the game. Following Bloomberg's request for comment, the company put out, its tw put out a Twitter statement today saying the game was delayed. And Bloomberg, you have to like pay for Bloomberg to like read. I think there's a trick to seeing their articles without paying for it or subscribing to it. But I don't know what the rest of it says um, because it's, you know, you have to subscribe to read uh, their full articles. Man, <sighs> fuck them. I can't say it enough. You know, fuck them. Uh, here's, here's what I'm doing moving forward. I'm going to play my games that I have. I'm going to treat factions how I treat SOCOM. Would I like SOCOM? A absolutely. But you don't hear me talk about SOCOM anymore because I'm not going to hold out hope or actually keep mentioning it or wishing for it when it might not ever come. So I'm going to pretend it doesn't exist. or I'm, I'm not going to hope for it, right? I'm not going to be looking out on the horizon, awaiting the potential, you know, first showing the, the announcement or, you know, finally getting the game. It's just not going to matter to me anymore. It's not going to be in my brain. I'm not going to think about it. It's not going to be something I'm concerned with at all until we actually see gameplay. So fuck them. Because fuck you for putting out this statement in, in the damn near same statement you put out four years ago. I wonder if I could find that shit. So I'm sure somebody posted it somewhere. Um, 
or retweeted it. it it's it's so eerie because it's like it's like it feels like we're in the same spot we were four years ago. That's what it feels like because you put out the same statement. They just finished a shit ton of hiring for the for the multiplayer because when you look at the uh, Naughty Dog hiring, um, you know, bulletin. All the positions that they had hired for mo the multiplayer damn near filled, which was a great sign. And then, you know, dude, um, uh, Neil Druckmann, of course, fuck him, fuck him. Uh, when he was talking to Kind of Funny, also reassured us that we were going to, you know, things were going great and we were going to see uh, more of the game this year. And uh, obviously this explains why we didn't see it at that terrible, terrible showcase. Um, and Benji Sales, you know, also put put out the same thing. You know, uh, Bloomberg did. Uh, some of that development team um, was was moved to other projects, so they they're reevaluating it. They've said that it is not canceled, but being reevalued. But they're they have put some of those developers on other things. So if the game does come out. 2025, 2026, wouldn't put it past them. Who knows? But like I said, I'm not concerned with that. So fuck them. Not concerned. I am not concerned anymore. You will not hear me talk about it anymore. So don't ask me. That's the thing. When y'all know I don't want to talk about something, y'all motherfuckers just be asking me shit and telling me shit, tagging me and shit. Don't tag me in this shit no more. Nothing to do with factions. Don't, don't tag me about this shit no more. Okay? I have games in front of me that I'm going to worry about. I still have Jedi Survivor to get to. I'm, I'm at the end of uh, um, Advance Wars 2. Miasma Chronicles just came out and really liking that game. Final Fantasy is coming out in like three weeks. So I'm going to focus on the games in front of me. Not pie in the sky, not imaginary you know, shit that Neil Druckmann claims is on the way. So uh, when it gets here, I guess it gets here. Um, but until then, the, the, the landscape, the multiplayer landscape of gaming is absolute ass to me. Absolute ass. And I was hoping, you know, some of the, the style, the stylings of multiplayer games that I would like would, you know, be here soon or eventually, right? But that hasn't happened and multiplayer in my opinion is at at the worst it's ever been. That's my opinion. Some people like all this dog shit that that's out here. Some people like, love all this this multiplayer dog shit. I think it's dog shit. But um yeah, to me multiplayer is, is at the worst place it's it's ever been. And other things, other parts of gaming are fantastic, but as far as multiplayer goes, oh, it's never been worse. It's 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 absolute dog shit. So yeah, that's it. Um, hit the notification bell, follow me on Twitter, hit the like button, all that good shit, and I'll catch y'all on the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.